Hey guys, so today I'm showing you this very cute, very pretty, very easy butterfly look. Great for last minute if you decide to go somewhere or even for your kid. The endless possibilities. <laughs> okay, so I started off with a face of makeup already done except for my eyes. Just, you know, makes it look a little bit nicer. Then I am just using a lip pencil for this, so it's just like a plummy purple colour, a pink, anyone will do. And you just want to start mapping out your butterfly. So I can't really give too much guidance except for follow maybe a reference picture or this and you can get the right shape. You guys know a butterfly shape, right? So it's like a bit more pointy up the top and a bit more round on the bottom wing. You want to like stretch out your skin so that it doesn't drag and you get a nice neat line but you will be blending it out anyway so it's not too big of a deal and you just want to connect it all in around the sides of your nose and just trying to make sure they're even they're never going to be fully even honest to god you'd be here all day trying to get them like that so as close as even as possible you can do is grand okay so then you just want to use colorful eyeshadows for this you could use face paints but eyeshadows blend a little bit easier um, I just basically grabbed out all of the colorful eyeshadows I could find. So the first one's here from Inglot and this is just like a nice kind of deep purple and I started with the top half of the wing and I just did the outline and then I grabbed this kind of fuchsia pinky purple. This palette is like a really cheap palette, it doesn't have a name but like I said any eyeshadows you have will do. Um, you don't ha even have to use these colours, you can use whatever colours you want really. Um, but yeah, just start blending that to the bottom half of the wing and just kind of blend it in with the top half of the purple so that you get that nice gradient effect and there's no harsh lines, it's just nice and blended. Um, yeah, so you want to just fill in the whole bottom half of the perimeter. Then I went and I grabbed a nice baby pink shimmery eyeshadow and I just started to buff that in and just fill in the full lower half of the butterfly wing and um, as you can see I just blended it in nicely with the pink but then I went back in with the deeper kind of fuchsia pink just to really kind of get that nice gradient effect so it goes from darker to lighter in the middle um, and then I went to the top half and I grabbed this really nice fuchsia purpley colour from the palette I have and I just basically did the exact same thing. Once again, just kind of blending it into the pink will just make it look really nice and blended that way. Um, yeah, so then I just buffed it all over the top of my lid and downwards. And then I grabbed the blue Ingle eyeshadow and I started to blend onto my lid. And right here is where I kind of went, ugh, uh, I think I've made a mistake, it doesn't really go. <laughs> But um, yeah, I was just kind of playing around, so I used blue on my eyelids, but I didn't really like it. It was a bit too blue, and um, I didn't think that the tones went. So what I did is I went back in with the first purple, and I went over that blue, and then actually created a really, really nice violet color, which I actually loved. It just kind of went so well with it. So yeah, just mixing colors, doing whatever with eyeshadows is fine. Just make sure it's all blended. So easy. Um, next are the antennas. I basically just got a light pink lip liner and just mapped out the shape. You always want to kind of map out your shape first in case you make a mistake. You can easily erase it. And then I went in with a darker uh, pink lip liner. You could also use purple or whatever and um, darkened them up. Then I moved on to lips. Um, if you're doing like pink and purple butterfly wings, you kind of want to do pink and purple lips. It makes sense. It ties it all together. So whatever colour your wings are, probably do the same with your lips, but you know, that's just me. Um, yeah, and just kind of blended them in and went back in with the pink uh, lip liner to blend it into the purple lipstick so that it was kind of another ombre gradient look. And then I just applied some mascara. You could do liner with this, you could do like a full eye look. I just popped on some mascara just to kind of break up the look so that my eyes didn't disappear. And then I just went in with any finishing touches, just kind of straightened up the lines, and that is basically it. So easy, really pretty, girly, last minute idea is just so handy, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you very soon. Bye!